Thanks for inviting me to, to this uh, event tonight. Um, uh, just an introduction. Um, I actually know um, people from Abingdon because I'm an employee of the Oxfordshire County Council. Um, so, and I've uh, been working with Choose Abingdon for uh, quite a few years and I, I, I've been a vocal um, person on the board to encourage them to look at uh, becoming a bid. Um, but in my spare time, which uh, I have less and less of, but uh, I, I support my wife in running a, a business in Wellingborough. Um, and um, off the back of that, and, and probably being very vocal in Wellingborough, um, we decided we should, one of us should sit on the bid, and uh, she nominated me to be the person that went and sat on it. So I'm now, I'm also a director of Wellingborough Bid. That's a picture of our town centre. Um, it's th when I came to uh, Abingdon, um, I found there's quite a lot of similarities. Abingdon is probably in a much better situation than ourselves, and it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit prettier than Wellingborough. Um, we, we sadly had uh, um, some London growth in the 60s that took out the, the pretty buildings and put in a lovely 1960s shopping centre, which uh, was, a, was a shame, but, um, but with similar size, similar types of shops, um, a market town, um, and, uh, and I think there's, uh, there's, there's plenty of things that uh, Abingdon could learn from, uh, from Wellingborough, just so people know where it is. It's the, it's the little red uh, dot. We're near Northampton. Um, we're on a London train line, so there's, there's quite a few commuters in the town, although uh, lots of them don't always use the town centre or didn't used to use the town centre. That's changing. Um, and as you can see, it's about 50, 60 miles away from um, having done. It's a, it's a lovely commute in the morning to Oxford. The town centre, um, that's our bid area. So that's our, that's our bid area. It, it pretty much is the town centre. We've got a few streets that extend out to, and uh, this is our second term. Um, we've, uh, we did a f first term, started in 2011, and we had a, I think we had a narrower um, area. We've extended it slightly to take account of a couple of areas that are um, under proposed development. So hopefully, when they come forward in the next five years, we would get the uplift from them, but they're not accounted for in the business plan. But you see, from, the, from the looking through the business plan, it's quite a similar sort of size. Um, it's about half a mile up from bottom to the, bottom to the top and left and right. There's about 350 businesses in the, uh, in the bid area. So what have we done as the bid? Um, our bid was set up to really try and change the image of Wellingborough. It didn't have the best image, um, but it does have quite, it did have quite a sort of core, strong, um, vocal group of people who, who liked Wellingborough. It was, uh, and, we, and it had something to, to build off. Um, it's got a good mix of independence um, and, and, uh, and larger high street brands um, and it just needed something to start attracting people back into the town centre. The Wellingborough Town Council used to fund some, um, some partnership working through the town centre management partnership in a similar way to Choose Abingdon. Um, that funding got cut in about 20, 2009, two, uh, 2008. Um, so for a couple of years, nothing happened, and you could see it start to, you could see it start to deteriorate. Even things like Christmas, we, you know, there was just about enough money to turn the lights on, and uh, it was a bit, it was a bit <laughs> depressing to be honest. So, what we've managed to do is is come in, use some of the funding to um, to focus on events and marketing. And um, what we found is over the three years, we've learned a lot: what works, what doesn't work, um, and we start to focus on probably some of the. I suppose bigger single events rather than lots of little events. Those show four of the more successful ones. Um, so we, we do a really good pr Christmas event now. Um, last year we had uh, 10,000 people come in to the, turn the lights on compared to the before there was a bid. One of them, I think one year we had 1,500 turn up. So that's a big uplift. Um, we've also do something called uh, the Medieval Festival. That's partly uh, serendipity because we have a guy who lives in Wellingborough who organises uh, themed festivals and came to us and said why don't we do a festival in the town centre they're usually on the outskirts of town let's do use put them into the town centre and we do it all around the town centre and he does it on cost uh, on a really low cost basis that's into its third year and uh, attracts um, the last couple of years about 30,000 people extra people into the town centre um, at a cost for the bid of around £14,000 it is now. We get extra funding in from different places. And it's a great event and people love it and we get lots of new people into the town. Um, we also have Wembrough Bake Off. I think that's next month. That's been, that was a great event because it, it was quite low cost and was, un, was surprisingly very successful. Lots of more people came than we expected and we, could, we didn't quite manage it as well. So it's, we've had to move it this year. And also a beach that we put into the town centre every year. People really like that. It keeps people into the town. Um, makes them stay a bit longer, spend a bit more. 
um, and they really like that. I think if we took that away, there'd be an outcry from uh, everyone with children, and that, including me, when <laughs> that's where I take my kids for half an hour for peace and quiet. We've also tried to provide more of an online presence for the town. This is our new website, um, we've, so we've just recently changed this. We've also built um, an online store function, so that allows people that might not want to run their own website to have a place to sell and promote themselves. We're just starting to try and encourage that to more businesses because we're still trying to get more businesses on, uh, online. Just as a uh, contact for, um, uh, and looking at these figures against uh, Abingdon's, as you can see, they're quite similar. So this is for our second term. Um, the majority, again, we are spending on events and marketing. One of the things that's been very successful is we do, uh, we do group recycling. So we do, um, uh, we do a group, um, well, a, group, a group buying exercise, except, except essentially for uh, recycling services. And that has seen that mo we can s uh, provide a saving for most of the, the companies in the, in the town. And a lot of the, um, organise the businesses, like pubs particularly and restaurants, um, a lot of them are able to get their bid levy um, payment back from the savings that we, we get from uh, um, buying in the recycling services as a, as, a, as a group. So that's been really successful. Um, and we also um, <coughs> promote various different events, do group business support. Um, we brought in um, agency support. So, um, so our own uh, Mary Portis, um, he's not quite the same as Mary Portis, but um, he goes around the businesses and help them with uh, things like marketing and uh, window displaying and just trying to go through business plans with them and how they can plan for the future. Um, and that's been very successful as well.